Hey guys, wanted to put out a quick video this morning. Um, I've been working, it's been raining here, so haven't been able to do much outside stuff. So I ended up with a, a crawler from a buddy of mine, and so I've been doing some work on it, and it's actually been a good experience this weekend because it's also taught me a bunch about programming my new uh, Radio Master MT-12. So I know I told you in the video that I was gonna try to do some video, like how-to videos, but I realized this weekend going through what I went through that if you become a member of the uh, Edge TX Discord, they've got all the videos already done for all the different things you wanna do on this uh, transmitter. So it's just, I'm not gonna, it'll take me a lot longer to do them because I may not do it the same way. So it's just a lot easier to go reference over there what you're looking to do and then just find the video on it and they're all numbered and everything. So it's really easy to get around and, and find what you're looking for. So anyway, this is my first step into the, the crawler stuff. Uh, this is a AX24 XT or XC1. Um, and I went through some headaches with it this weekend because I couldn't get the uh, factory spectrum two in one to bind to the MT12. So I ended up tearing the car down and now it's got a, a little uh, micro brushless system in it. And the receiver that came with my MT12, which is also gonna give me a chance to uh, test that receiver for range and stuff like that. So anyway, so some of the stuff that I've done on this, like other than that, it's all stock. So I'm just learning how to, I just got all the programming done on it last night and everything seems to work really well. So what I've done is on the transmitter itself, it's got four drive modes. It's got front steering, rear steering, uh, what they call mirror steering, which the front wheels go one way, the back wheels go the other, and it's got crab steering. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'll demonstrate that. I got those programmed in on a trim switch. So, it, it's kind of hard for me to, to show you the transmitter itself. I'll do another video um, of showing you, but I just want to show you that it is working. So if I move the wheel right and left right now, it's in front wheel drive only. And then I click up on the trim switch and it's doing front and rear steering. I click up one more and it's doing rear steering only. I click up one more and it does the crab steering. So it's really cool that you can program it to do all this stuff. And then when it gets back, to, like I says, it's just you when you figure it out, uh, that there's videos on this that are to follow along with that are really easy to, to get done. So, and then the only other things that I did to it, um, I programmed another switch. So I'm gonna lift the car up for a second. So I programmed another switch. Uh, why is my throttle? Okay, so I, I programmed the switch, so as you can hear, it's only at half throttle there. And then there's another, there's a switch on the transmitter underneath the trigger. So I've got 50% and 100%, which is really all I should need for a crawler. But again, I don't know, I'm new to the crawling thing. So it's a learning curve for me. So it's, it's gonna take me some time to get used to doing this. In fact, I wanna reach out to some of you guys that do the crawling to see what I need to do with this because right now, like I said, it's it's bone factory stock, uh, except for the brushless system. It doesn't have any weights on it, but the buddy that I got the car from, he gave me these wheel weights for it and I don't know if I should be running these on it or not running them or circumstances where you do run them and don't run them or you run them in the front or in the back or 
opposite wheels or whatever. So this, like I said, this crawling thing is a whole new learning curve to me. And I think it's going to be fun. I, I just need to learn more about it. So and I'm going to shut the car off because I wanted to show you a couple of other things that I did on my transmitter that are kind of, kind of cool. And I, I can actually show you easier with it off so I don't have to elevate the car up. So with the car, so on the transmitter here, I'll put the transmitter up here. So, so this was the trim switch I was using right here to adjust my drive mode. And then it shows you, I don't know how well you can see this. You can see where it says front on the display screen. If I click this watch, it'll go up to mirror and then it goes up to rear and then to crab. And that tells you where it's at. And then it, when, when it gets back to center, center, it defaults back to drive mode zero, which is the way I got it set up for just the front wheels and then the, the other switch is underneath down here so in the middle position on this one it's 50 percent and all the way out at me it's a hundred percent so that those were pretty easy to do and then like you can do it's it's got it's got these rgb leds in it so i did some stuff to be i didn't like the the one the profile that came with it because it's got all these different flashing lights and stuff like that so I set mine to be purple all the time, but then when you accelerate with the throttle, it goes green to show you that you're going. And then when you hit the brake, it goes red to show you that you're stopping or slowing down or whatever it is you're doing. And then I just thought that that was kind of cool to, to do with it. So I, I still have a long ways to go even with the radio. Um, even when I was doing drones, I barely scratched the surface on like a lot of the stuff that you can do with Edge TX. So I'm actually pretty excited about learning how to learn more and uh, do more with it. So I'm gonna end this one here. Um, hopefully you guys can give me some tips on this that have crawlers on this crawling thing on, on what I need to do or what the scenarios are for like using the the wheel weights and stuff like that so uh i'll end this one here and let me know if you guys got any questions i mean i can i can try to help you in the comments with uh the like programming the transmitter but it's kind of hard i have a discord that you could join to um and like i said the edge tx guys they're always on discord so if you got a question, anything like that, you can get on there. You'll get the help you need like right away. So my easy lap system comes in today. So I probably won't do a video till I might try to do one tomorrow if I get it all set up fast enough. Otherwise, it'll be Wednesday. I'll try to put out another one on the new timing system on the Mini Z track working. So I will talk to you guys in the next one.